Now to the U.S. Surgeon General. Dr. Jerome Adams once lived in Texas and has a little more insight on our state and what is now happening here than maybe others in D.C. Dr. Adams, thanks for the time. We'll get right to it here. Um, for weeks, you have supported wearing face masks. It's all over your social media feeds, but Texas is one of those states that is not making masks mandatory. Is that a mistake? Well, that's a great question, and here's one of the challenges. Our country was founded by people who didn't want to be told what to do by the government. I understand that saying something is mandatory is, is in many cases the best way to make sure that they won't do it. But if you want people to actually do something, you need to help them understand why they should be doing it and the benefits that are going to accrue to them. So here's what I would say to the people of Texas. If you want to see the Dallas Cowboys play again in person, if you want to see the Houston Texans play again in person, if we want to get back to some, some sense of normalcy with church, with school, with businesses, then the fastest way to make that happen is by wearing a face covering. It's a small inconvenience that will actually increase our freedom because it will uh, make sure we don't have to shut down. It will uh, facilitate a faster reopening and we'll have more options because we'll have less disease spread. Let, let me pick up on that, Dr. Adams. You said, uh, you went on to say that, you know, we should all try to better understand why some people resist health recommendations and then speak to their concerns and find common ground. It seems though that health experts like yourself have been pretty clear here that masks help. Help. Where is common ground, though? Well, uh, people understand, I think, that masks help in general. They don't see how it specifically helps them. And that's why, again, I want people to know that if you want that restaurant down the street to open up and to stay open, then we need to follow those basic public health precautions. If we uh, make sure we're social distancing, make sure that we are wearing our face coverings, then we'll be able to go out and get some barbecue. <clears throat> and I, I lived in Texas for a while in Laredo. I love me some good barbecue, but I, I want these restaurants to open more than anyone else. I want our, our communities to reopen, and the way we do that is by making sure we follow these public health precautions. You're speaking our language here, the Dallas Cowboys barbecue. I can tell you've lived here, at least been to Texas qu quite a bit. Uh, I want to ask you one more topic on, uh, on, on COVID. You're a father of three. You see what's going on here in Texas. Right now, would you send your children back to school when school resumes in five to six weeks from now? Fantastic question, and it's a conversation my wife and I are having constantly along with the kids. Uh, one of the important things to know is a lot can change in just a few weeks, so it is premature now to say what will happen in June. But what we want schools to do is to make sure we're doing everything possible in communities to lower the prevalence of disease first and foremost. We want schools to understand the things they can do to keep students safe, things like making sure uh, you're doing as, as much education outside as possible, ensuring social media uh, or, 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 uh, is, is, is utilized and that virtual media and online communication is used as much as possible, uh, making sure uh, people have ways to get to school that don't include packing on a bus, so biking to school, walking to school, driving to school. There are things that we can do to make the school environment safer. Also important to know that young people are not as high of a risk uh, for getting or having complications from or spreading COVID as older adults are. Doesn't mean they're at no risk. We want to make sure we're doing everything possible to keep them safe. But I'm optimistic that in many areas across the country, we will be able to have school this year. It will look different than what it did at this time last year, but it's important that yeah. we get these kids back in the educational environment. All right, Dr. Adams, thank you for the time. Thank you, and remember, Texas, you have the ability to control whether or not we reopen and how quickly if you just do those basic things that we recommend. Wearing a mask will help you get back to normal.